Hello, it's Hugh here from Creator Up. Today we're gonna deep dive and analyze some of the stitching problem Nikon Key Mission 360 had. So here, as you see, uh, I bring the recorded video into my Premiere Pro CC. Uh, first, quick tips: how you can actually uh, have a 360 view on Premiere Pro. Uh, actually, it's very simple. See right here, this button, toggle via video display, you can turn it off. And then you see the regular view, and you click that, you will see the VR view. So uh, if you do not find this button, you can hit the plus button and bring this in. You can click it and drag it into here. And other thing is, uh, if you want the same view that I have in here, to actually see the problem yourself, you can right click on the video, uh, on a VR video setting. You can put the uh, view horizontal on 180 degrees and vertical to 90 degrees. So you have the same exact view that I have right here. Okay, so now let's look at the actual video uh, I shot at Art District in downtown Los Angeles. And that's me on the, in the video. And uh, that is shot by Nikon Key Mission 360. And let's look at, take a look at the problem here. So the first problem. So if you pan the video into the stitching point. So here is the stitching point. You can clearly see that my hand got cut off right here. There's a cut line and the softness uh, the internal stitching software have on the Nikon Key Mission 360. Um, so I'm pretty close to the camera. So stitching problem is very obvious just right at this moment. And next, take at the next moment right here. And I'm fairly, very close to the camera because I'm actually reaching out my hand to grab the camera. And you can see my face got cut off right here. So that is a big problem. So again, how my face got cut off, uh, I'm holding the camera right there. Uh, that is an arm length distance. And I still, how my head got cut off. It's just a more example about uh, the cutoff point. See, if you're really close to the camera, basically my hand, entire hand is gone. So here is example of movement. So how I walk into the stitch point and walk out the stitch point. Take a look at it. Take a look at it again. As you see at this point, um, actually a little bit right here. As you see, like look like I'm walking to a, a mirror and walk out the mirror. So uh, it's pretty obvious even in uh, motion. So last stitching point, I basically reach out my hand uh, to grab the camera. And as you see, half of my head got cut off. And also in here, you see the, the color between the front lens and the back lens. It's actually doing a pretty good job compared to Samsung Gear 360. Uh, so that's at least one good news about Nikon Key Mission. At least the color between lens is doing a pretty decent job. But the stitching, as you see right here, clearly the whole line got cut off. It is a big problem we have. So if you design to stick with the camera because the high resolution, like me, and I actually love the camera besides the stitching problem. So how to avoid the stitching problem? So here is a graphic. Here's your key mission, a top-down view. So as you see, like above the camera, here is a safe zone. So in front of the camera and the back of the camera. So you will want to put your subject matter and everything you want viewer to see in this safe green zone and don't let them stand in the red zone. And personally, I suggest just like, don't try to actually put anything, anything you want viewers to see in this like, not safe zone. And if you really need to put anything in here, make sure that distance between the subject matter and the side of the camera is at least two meter in distance. So at least the color point is not so obvious. 
So that is a pretty simple tips and trick to avoid your, sub your subject get cut off by the camera. Hope this tutorial actually helped you to understand the problem that Nikon Kimi 360 have and how to avoid it if you decide to use it as your 360 camera. Okay, I will see you in the next tutorial.